I'm Yvonne Ng, and I'll be presenting work on inferring the body pose of a camera wearer from egocentric video in collaboration with Dong Lai Xiang, Han Biao Zhu, and Kristen Grauman. Recent years have seen a growth of wearable cameras in a variety of different industries where they have enabled more immersive and realistic user experiences. However, in order to seamlessly integrate with a user's actions, the system must be able to infer the body pose of the camera wearer, also known as the ego pose, which reveals important information about the user's physical activities. Yet ego pose estimation is particularly challenging due to extensive occlusions and motion blur that often accompany an egocentric perspective. More importantly, the person of interest is often completely out of view of the camera. This brings us to our goal, which is to use egocentric video captured by a wearable camera to infer the body pose of the camera wearer who happens to be behind the camera and hence unseen. Prior pose work has typically focused on third person pose estimation, which involves detecting visible poses of people in view of the camera as opposed to out of view. An early attempt at egocentric pose estimation was inside-out mocap, but this involves using a multi-camera setup. And while there exists prior work that uses only a single camera, these approaches rely heavily on cues from ego motion, which limits actions to large sweeping movements such as walking or sitting. This brings us to our key insight, which is to leverage interactions to estimate the unseen first-person pose. We know this link exists, for example, in the image, I might have covered a few body poses, but using information from the interactions, we can accurately infer what the missing body pose is. You to me uses the inferred pose of the second person in view of the camera to improve the estimation of the first person pose. From an input video, we extract three features. The dynamic motion feature captures scene invariant cues pertaining to the motion of the camera wearer, while the static scene feature attends to surrounding visual context that may be associated with certain poses. Finally, we extract a second person pose feature. This feature expresses the central concept that the camera wearer's pose is strongly governed by interaction dynamics, which are directly tied to the interactee's pose we leverage recent successes in third-person pose estimation via open pose to extract this second-person pose. These features are fed as input into an LSTM that outputs a frame-by-frame -frame sequence of the camera wearer's predicted body pose. To train and test our method, we introduce a novel dataset consisting of two collections. Our Panoptic Studio collection contains highly accurate ground truth skeletons, but were taken in a limited setting. We therefore also provide an in-the-wild dataset captured by two Kinect sensors. Each collection contains enactments from different activities that are conducive to dyadic interactions. We stress that our method is tested on unseen people and is trained across all of the activities at once. As shown in these examples, our method successfully captures the link between how other people respond in their body pose as a function of one's own ego body pose. Quantitatively, our approach outperforms current state-of-the-art for ego pose estimation, a state-of-the-art third-person approach adapted to the first-person setting, and a stronger-than-random guessing baseline. All quantitative results are also demonstrated separately in the panoptic setting. As opposed to current state-of-the-art, our approach successfully predicts gestural upper body movements of the camera wear. In ablation studies, removing the second person pose feature most significantly decreases performance. This is best shown here, where the open pose feature allows our approach to accurately predict down to which arm moves forward in a hand game. While we achieve successful results using 2D open pose skeletons, we get further improvements by feeding in the 3D skeletal ground truths of the interactee. Finally, we verify that our network learns appropriate correlations from the inferred second person pose by feeding in incorrect 2D skeletons, which causes the network's performance to drop. In summary, we introduce a method for ego pose estimation in dyadic interactions that explicitly leverages first and second person interaction dynamics to achieve improved ego pose estimates. 